Okay, um, this is uh, Hydrogen at Home, and um, I'm just uh, going to put together this little cell that I'm uh, going to try out. Last time I tried out these two of these uh, sink strainers, and just hooked them up very quickly just to see if we could get, get a reaction, and I did. So I thought, uh, before I um, get some uh, proper stainless steel, I'll uh, try it with a few more of them. So I've uh, got six of these strainers. They're pretty cheap, stainless steel. Pick them up from just about anywhere. And all I've done is got all six of these, and I've put them together like this. And as you can see, I've drilled a hole straight through the center. Drilled a hole just the right size, so it's just a tiny bit smaller than this stainless steel bolt here. And then the other side, with using a pair of tin snips, I've cut out a section here so that when we take each plate and put them like this, you'll see that the bolt will go through every second plate without touching the other plate. So I'll do that quickly now. Take our plastic bolt, which is just out of a holding a toilet seat on. And work that through there. These washers are three millimeters thick, and they're just scrap plastic. Be um, very careful when you're drilling through stainless steel, no matter what sort of stainless steel it is, or any metal for that matter. Make sure you wear gloves and um, and have a block underneath, because otherwise it's very very easy for the drill bit to uh, get caught and spin the steel around and you can get a very nasty cut if you don't. So as you can see I'm just putting a bit of plastic, stainless steel, another bit of plastic. Okay so we've got all that together. You can see every second plate here is the one with the hole and then every other second plate has got a cut out of it. So if you take our uh, stainless steel bolt here we can then screw that straight through and then we'll be able to do the same on the other side so one bolt would be for the positive and one bolt would be for the negative in order to uh, thread up these these um, strainers instead of going to the expense of getting a tap and die set at the moment all I've done is taken one of these bolts and you can see I've slightly uh, grinded that down so that I could take each plate one at a time before I put it together and just worked it through just so that it would uh, just get through there like that and screw in. Um, you just basically want to make the hole just a tiniest bit smaller than the bolt itself. You can see that just, it'll just go all the way through. I'll probably use a pair of pliers and get that all the way through. And there we have our uh, finished cell. You just want to make sure that, check all the way around and make sure none of the uh, plates are touching where they shouldn't be. And all we're going to do here is take a couple of washers, make them on there, grab our uh, battery cable, put that on there. screw that up tight. And there we have our finished cell ready to hook up and try it.